Pennsylvania is going to get billions of dollars under President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure bill the Congress just approved last Friday. In an interview only on KDKA, political editor John Delano spoke with Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm, who says states like Pennsylvania will be big winners. For years, everybody has known America's infrastructure was crumbling. But until now, no president, Republican or Democrat, has been able to cut a deal to invest money into rebuilding. That changed Friday night when the Democratic House with 13 Republicans approved a compromise bill that passed the Senate earlier this year. It's a $1.2 trillion bill, a lot less than some think is needed, but a start at rebuilding roads, bridges, airports, ports, railroads, and high-speed broadband service in all parts of the nation. U.S. Secretary of Energy Jennifer Granholm told me over 3,500 bridges and 7,500 miles of highways in Pennsylvania would be immediate beneficiaries, along with many other infrastructure needs. Pennsylvania is going to get $1.6 billion for bridge and road repair. Um, under the um, bipartisan infrastructure deal, especially older cities have a lot of lead pipes. Lead pipes are going to be removed. There's a lot of homes that have leaking windows, leaky, infra leaky um, insulation. There is a huge amount for weatherization of of homes. There is a huge amount for capping of abandoned oil and gas wells. Overall, road and bridge work in this state totals $13 billion. Granholm said the bill also includes money to upgrade the power grid with more storm resilient power lines and to install electro vehicle charging stations coast to coast. And Pennsylvania can expect $2.8 billion over the next five years to improve public transit. Now, local Republicans voted against this bipartisan bill, including Mike Kelly, who called the spending inflationary, and Guy Reschenthaler, who called the bill socialist. Democrats Mike Doyle and Connor Lamb supported the measure. Now, coming up at six, I asked Secretary Granholm what she as Energy Secretary is doing about rising gasoline prices. John Delano, KDKA News.